Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. Got you that time. <laughs> the gin we're trying today is Fu Kang Gin. Now we have to be very careful with the name. Fu Kang or something else. Anyway, it will bring a cheeky smile to your face. In the year 2000, a meteorite was discovered in Fukang, China. It contained golden looking fag fragments the world had never seen before. Never seen. And that gave the inspiration for the name. The gin is actually distilled in France, so blows that all out of the water. <laughs> and it's featured locally sourced botanicals, including anise, angelica root, cinnamon, orange peel, mm -hmm. coriander, and cassia bark. That's a, that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a standard botanicals basically in there the gin. It comes in a 70 centiliter bottle with an ABV of 40% for around 45 pounds, but with a beautiful gift box. I mean, it's a beautiful bottle anyway, but it's amazing. They actually recommend the perfect serve being a martini, but as we judge our gins on a gin and tonic, that's how we're gonna serve it. So we're gonna use a premium tonic water uh, with a little twist of lemon. It's <laughs> a little twist of lemon. Are you stealing my but, Yeah, but <laughs> as always, we're trying it neat first, so let's get to it. Can you pass me the thing? Uh, because, I will pass you the thing. Yeah. Because there's a little bit of plastic in there, and there's. I'm gonna try and get that off first, or maybe just break the seal. There you go. Yeah, let's just break the seal. There we go. Because I'm always rubbish at opening these. You'll you'll have known from other videos. There we go. Oh. Wait. Oh, there you go. You can take the plastic I'll off. I'll take that off. It's a really heavy bottle. It's actually quite impressive, though. It's a really really impressive bottle. Like a decanter. Um, but they got the inspiration. So look, so they've got so the meteorite. They've got the inspiration got, from a meteorite, yeah. but made it in a country. Yeah, but it's got gold on it. Miles and miles it's away. It's got gold on it, and it's got a cheeky sounding name. So why not? There we go. So it's got gold on the label, yeah. but no yeah. gold in it. No. Okay. So what well, inspiration there? It smells very alcoholic. It does I've smell very. Lot, I've actually let the air get to it, so it's dispersed a little bit. Dispersed, yeah. yeah. Like we've got no neat flames. Right. Oh, it, it's very sharp. Yeah. I, I, for me, I probably wouldn't make it into a martini because yeah. it's a little... Oh, it's hot. Yeah. Um, I'll be honest, right, so for me, let me just give it another go. I need to give it another go. That first burst wasn't great for me. Okay, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, the second, the second... Do you know what? Really? It's far. It's it's really strong. I tell you Look, what, we don't because it's not down as drinking neat, so we need to get it in a. Well, in it a does drink. say martini, so that's virtually neat. Obviously, it's you know shaking a bit of ice or stirred um, with some God, vermouth. But for my me, throat is yeah, hot. For me, that's a little bit nail varnishy remover. It's, oh my. it's not great for me, but we judge on a gin and tonic, and so that's how we're going to do it. So let's do this. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Oscar. Mm. Okay. Hold on. Right, so, I'm not getting a great deal, so I'm gonna have another another swig, because I, I don't want to be one of those people that taste it once and then they get every I, single flavour. Absolutely. <laughs> they can tell every flavour that's in the bowl. Right, for me, I'm not getting a great deal other than the lemon that we've put in it and the tonic. It's a bit bland. Yeah, it's a bit of a Fu Kang letdown. <laughs> it's, it's, um... Right, yeah, it is a bit bland. It's a little bit citrusy, tiny bit citrusy. It is It is really bland. It's the, the safer end of gins. Like, really safe. I, I would go so far as saying, if someone got me this, I'd go, Oh, it's a vodka and tonic. I'm going to take what little bit of lemon's left in there. Out. Pop it there. 
<laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I don't think that little sliver of lemon was doing much no, to it well, anyway. No, it wasn't. Um, it's really uneventful. It's, it's, it's a little bit disappointing. Do you know what? We're sucker for packaging. It's great packaging, but we always go, oh, it's great packaging. Oh, and it, and it celebrates what's inside. For me, what's inside is nothing, nothing with no. any flavor. It's a real shame because it does look yeah. lovely. It looks great on our shelves, right? Um, I think the question is, do we regret buying it? Right, now, 45 quid, for 45 quid you get a lovely, lovely box, nice, nice looking bottle, beautiful looking bottle, and something that resembles um, it's vodka. really sharp. It's really sharp. Yeah. So right. it's not. I mean, it's not pleasant sharp. You you might go as far as saying, well, I've got this. You know, I've got all those long, and it contains alcohol. <clears> it's forty percent <throat> alcohol. So I'm winning, but I'm not winning on flavour. I'm not. And I'm no. I'm really, really disappointed. I, I I must admit, we 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 wanted to try this right, and um, until we you know, until <laughs> uh, you know until we've tried it, I I actually thought it'd be spectacular. I am disappointed. I am disappointed. Um, I'm also disappointed that um, not really looking into it that there are no gold flakes in it either. There's no gold not that it makes any drinks. No, but, but do you know what? You it, know, putting a picture of gold flakes on it, it would have been something extra. He got me this as a present, and you know, I've seen it on social media, and no, no, I am let down. I'm really let down. Yeah, I'm, it's really, it's not. It's not pleasant. It's not pleasant. We were, I'm not. I mean, we were trying to be. I was. I was trying to be diplomatic. You were trying <clears> to be <throat> nice because you kind of went off on one when you didn't like a gin before. Yeah. This doesn't taste like gin to me. It really, really doesn't. Um, it's not a pleasant sharpness. I like sharp drinks. I really. He likes fruity. I like sharp. I really do like. That's not a nice sharp. Also, when we did the ratio, so we did fifty of, of gin and a hundred of tonic. So we should be tasting gin for it, and I'm not. This is like a vodka and tonic. This is like a vodka and tonic for me. Mm. There's not much, there's a little bit of citrus to it, but that's it, that is it. I've got to say, the more I'm drinking of it, the more I'm not actually liking it. It's, there's no flavor to it's it. A, it's, you know what, I'm, 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 sh I'm annoyed at that, again. <laughs> Are you food hanging on? I am, because I wanted it. I so wanted it to be good. Right? And it just shows you though, it just shows you you don't know what you're getting until you try it. Now listen, <clears throat> it's about personal taste. It is about personal taste, and this is our taste and this is our view. And because we bought it, we can be honest, and we're being honest, we don't like it. A recommended serve for them isn't a martini. I can't say as it being in a martini you'd get much flavour other than from the vermouth that you're putting in. But if it's only good for a martini... But that'd be a vodka martini, basically. Yeah, but, but if it's only good for a martini, you know, like, a gin is traditionally a G and T. Yeah, okay, and we're, we're trying to break those boundaries yeah. as they all are, so you can have it with anything. Mm, but if it's, if it's saying it you can only have it in a martini, what's the point? The only, the only good thing about it is it's not scratching the back of my throat, which it isn't. <clears throat> It isn't leaving a nasty taste in my mouth because... Oh, it is for me. Is it? I, yeah. I, just, I don't think there is much of a taste. No, I, I'm getting a real sharpness in there and I'm getting a coating. Can't you hear the way I'm talking? It's actually, it's like it's coating. I thought you were just trying to be posh. No. <laughs> no def <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. Um, oh yeah, I'm disappointed. Right, let's right, score it. But let's score it. Um, it's going to be a tough one because we did pay, what, what do you pay? 45, 45 pounds. Quid. It's so if you listen, if you would, if no matter what bottle this was in, if you would, if you were given this, and you paid forty-five quid for it, what would you score it? You know, yes, it's a lovely bottle, but it's not like it's got branding on and stuff. Unless you peeled it off, you're not going to use it again, are you? Really? I think the question is, before I score, would we buy that again? No, no, never. Not, right? Um, would we offer it to people when they come to the no. house? No. God no, <clears throat> that would be that would be awful. I wouldn't right. do that to people. Calm down, right? Let's do right. this. Go. Oh, hold on. All right. No, I've changed it. I'll have a little. I'll have a little touch. Right, I'm ready. Go. Right, go. Oh, you wow. gave it a three. Do you know what? Are you stupid? I, I sort of I sort of do regret that now. If you want to rescore it, rescore it. But do you know what? It is not worth the money. It's not worth forty five pounds. It's, do you know what? If they if this would have come in at twenty five quid, I'd be like, 
Well, it's nice packaging. Yeah, do you know, you know what? Stuff. <clears throat> I <do laughs> it's, it's sitting right in my See, throat. It's, it's not doing that to me, but I just don't like it. It's got no flavour. And you're and you're going to sit in the back of my throat. I'm going. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to a one only because. It is really nice packaging, yeah, okay. and until we open, had we had we been one of those proper collectors that never open a bottle, that the uh, you know Careful. the collector police are always after, right? Then we would not know any different, and it'd sit up there and it looks lovely. Okay, so we think we I think we got a bargain there, right? It's a one because of the packaging, because of the packaging. Okay, okay, I'm disappointed, right? Everyone has different tastes. Okay, and there'll be some people that say it's the most amazing gin on the planet. Right, listen. Well, well done to you. Okay, Give it a go. I hope you enjoyed your free bottle. Okay, <laughs> because we paid for this. <laughs> so this is my opinion and his opinion. We bought that. I don't like it. It's not my type of gin. But then I suppose well, we've got this many amount of gins. We're going to find some that disappoint us. Give it a go, right? <laughs> if you want to give it a go. To me, I wouldn't give it to someone as a gift. He gave it to me as a gift. I hate you now. But no, it's just, it's, it's, it's not nice. It's not pleasant and that's it. I mean, if you rework the gin, if you if you even put a supermarket brand gin in there, you'd be winning. Well, that's probably what we'll do. Right? <laughs> we're, we're... No, because people would go, oh, that Fukang gin is really nice. That's and then so when the, and the, do you know what the story behind it? Disappointing. Okay, if, 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 if you're gonna get inspired by a Chinese gin, let a Chinese make it. Make yeah. it. Or at least okay. put a bit of the meteorite in yeah. so you can say, do some meteorite come in on. Right. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm really sorry, I can't toast you. I'm not gonna toast it either. Because it is changing the, my voice again. Right. right. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.